Clockify demo, how to track time with Clockify. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Clockify.me to start time tracking. So let's get into it. Now, first off, we're just going to click on sign up for free at the top over here. And then we're going to go on to their sign up page. I'm just going to enter my email. And once you do that, you're just going to click on create free account, or you can even choose to sign up with Google, but I'm just going to use my email. Now, once you have signed up, this is going to lead you to your basic workspace. And this is how easy it is to create your account on Clockify. It takes less than a second and you are ready. Now, once you have started using their platform, you guys see that it is very easy to navigate through it. So first off, on your left, you have your time tracker, you have your calendar, you have a basic dashboard for analytics then you have your time report so within your reports you have summaries you have detailed reports you also have weekly reports and shared reports so links to your shared reports are going to appear in this section so you can know what reports are, are being sent where now after that you have your project section where you can create different projects for the different work that you're doing so if you're working two jobs at once you can easily manage all of them over here or if you have two different employee dashboards if you have have two different employee sectors you can monitor them with separate projects below that you have your team so in your team you're going to add all of your employees or the people that you're working with then you also have groups so you can add groups of different members and then you also have reminders as well but reminders is not a feature that is available on the free version of clockify now next up you have your client so you can click on add new client and you can add them so let's say we have a sales project so we're going to add a sales client, we're going to add a marketing client. So like this, you can add several different clients. And once you have added a client, you can always archive them once their tasks have been completed. Now, next up, you have your tag section and you can categorize different tasks that you're doing within a certain project on this. Now, after that, you have your settings and these settings are very basic, all of your basic profile settings. Then you also have your timesheets as well. So you can click on activate timesheet and you can see over here that once you have activated your timesheets, you can hide the time tracker if you choose to, or you can let it be there. But once you have added timesheets, you can begin your time tracking journey. Now, after that, you can categorize your projects as billable or non-billable, and then you can make them public or private, and you can group projects by client, or you can group them by departments, categories, or any custom fields that you might want to add. After that, you can see what is the duration format that you want to choose for your overall business day. And then you also have your working days, so you can add more working days. If you work on odd days, you can add those as well. And then if you're working on Saturdays and Sundays, you can add them as well. Now, after that, you have your project and task favorite settings where you can mark your projects that you often have to visit and start having them at the tips of your fingers so you can have easy access and start monitoring your time very easily for those tasks. Now, after that, you have your workspace billable rate. So the default value of each billable hour is when there is no user or project hourly rate so this is going to be a default view but once you have added a few clients and you've added a few projects then you're going to be able to actually add a different billable rate now on our clockify app if we actually go on to our basic dashboard you can see it's currently empty but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into projects i'm going to create a new project over here i'm going to name this sales and i'm going to select a client and i'm going to find my sales client so you can see over here we have our sales client and then you can use a template if you have the upgraded version of Clockify, but if you don't, you can just use a basic version. And I'm going to make this pink because I really like pink and I'm just going to click on create. Now, once you have added a project, you can start building hours to your project as well. And once you click on your project, you can add different tasks. So let's say on sales, our first task is sales uh, plan. We're going to click on add then we're just going to add a sales budget budgeting sales team or let's say our next task is the door-to-door -door sales
Now, once you have added different tasks, you can add assignees. And once you add your assignees, you can have them mark their billable hours on the Clockify app as well. Now, after that, you have your access section. So over here, you can add different employees and add their roles as well. So if you have a billable rate so i'm going to change the billable rate from here and you can add different billable rates for different employees so i'm the only person that i have added onto this list but what i can do is i'm just going to click on change and then i'm going to change it to ten dollars and then I'm going to save this and now my billable hour rate has changed. After that, you have your status section where you can see how many hours you have tracked and what are the non-billable and billable hours in that term. So you can see if this person has been working overtime and if they're working for non-billable hours and putting in extra effort, you can always add more to their billable hours as well. Now after that, if you go onto your time tracker, it's very easy. First off, you click on a project. So we have our sales project we're going to open that and then let's say we are looking on to sales and then you can see over here i have started the timer and this is a billable or non-billable so i can select and deselect this and then you can always add tags to make it easier for you to find your different tasks as well so you can say sales over here and this is just going to create a sales tag now, once I have done that, you can see my time has been monitored. And if I click on stop over here, and this has been my time. So once you do that, you're going to get your billable hours and you can even duplicate and delete entries if you choose to. Another thing you can do is edit the time entries. So if you just click on the add time manually over here section on the top right, but just beside the actual time tracker, you're going to see this little clock. And if you click on this little timer clock over here, you can add your own custom hours as well. So these are all of the basic features that are available on the Clockify free version. Now you can always update Clockify and Clockify has four different plans that you can upgrade to. First off, you have their basic plan, which starts at $4 per user per month, where you get all of the free features. You can add and remove time for other people as well. So if you're a manager, you can add time for other employees. Then you also have hiding time in pages. So you can hide some track time for such certain employees and you can hide projects, teams, and reports as well. You can also have required fields. So it can prevent regular users from submitting time without missing fields. So they will have to add projects, tasks, tags, and management. So none of your employees can skip through. After that, you also get bulk editing decimal formatting, you get time audits, you get customized reporting, and project templates, historic rates, and imported timesheets. So the basic version does provide you with a lot of value, especially if you're running a business with uh, several employees and you need to keep in check of your employees, I would definitely suggest that you also upgrade to the basic version of Clockify. Now, after that, you have the standard version where you get all of the basic features. You get a lock timesheet, so you can prevent anyone from editing past time. And this is something I find to be a very essential feature in certain situations where you're not certain about your employees and you don't know if they can edit time and if they are being real with the edited time so you also get time approval so before sending data for billing and payrolling you can get your time approved you can get time off manager roles targets and reminders task rate time rounding invoicing and quick box integrations now after that you also have a pro version which includes all of these features you get expenses labor costs and profits you get scheduled reports Reports, budgeting and estimates, alerts, custom fields, force timer, GPS tracking, and screenshots as well. So these are all three of their basic features. Then they have a enterprise version as well, uh, but the enterprise version really just has a custom subdomain control accounts and single sign on. So I do find that the enterprise version is not worth it at $12 per user per month, but the standard and pro versions are something that I would suggest for larger businesses to opt for. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to choose the best plan on Clockify and start using Clockify for your time tracking needs. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.